Hello, good morning. This is Kath from Catherine Morgan Designs and I'm here today to show you my new pattern and a little technique that I've used in the pattern. So this pattern is called Kiss Curl and I think you'll realise immediately why. That's because instead of a bobble on the top of our bobble hat, we have some curls, some curly cues, some tendrils, some spirals, whatever you'd like to call them. Um, they're on the top of our hat and so I've called the pattern Kiss Curl. This pattern will be on the website for you to purchase today if you want to um, and that'll be by about lunchtime. So it's Wednesday the 22nd, no it's not, it's the 23rd of August uh, 2023. So if you're watching in the future, it's definitely not the 22nd, it's the 23rd of August. And um, this hat is made in lovely chunky yarn, natural fibres. This is wool and alpaca. And um, it's a lovely hat to knit. It's very simple, but I think you'll uh, agree it's quite effective um, and I've enjoyed doing it. So the technique I've used is the German twisted cast on because on a hat like this you very definitely need a twisted cast on so that you get that stretch to pop over your head and so that it just bounces back as well. So this looks particularly narrow doesn't it but it's got a lovely big stretch to it um, and then it will cling to your head without being tight um, and that's perfect for the weather that we know we're going to get in this country. So I'm going to pop the hat to one side and I'm going to take my needle and some yarn and I'm going to show you how to do the German twisted cast on. I've just been having a, a little, um, well not a practice, but a, a little um, play with it there. So I'm going to leave a long tail. Um, it's very difficult to tell you how long to leave a tail for a certain amount of stitches, but I tend to go with about a stitch an inch when I'm using chunky yarn. So for 20 stitches, uh, if we're going to cast on 20 stitches, we need roughly 20 inches and that will give us a little bit of a tail as well. So first thing we do is to just do um, a slip knot in that yarn, pop the loop that we get onto the needle and then we need to <clears throat> position our fingers so that we can do the um, German twisted cast on. So I'm going to pop two fingers under the, um, the back yarn that's attached to the ball there. So that needs to be at the back. Two fingers under there and the thumb under there and I'm going to bring that, those two ends of yarn down so that I'm holding them with the two remaining fingers on my hand. So that gives us like a slingshot and um, we're just going to start our first maneuver. So we're going to twist the needle towards us but at the same time we're going to twist our thumb away from us. So we're going to do like a balancing act with these two. So twist your hand, you can keep your thumb rigid if you want to and just twist, twist your hand or you can move your thumb about as well. You'll get to find the most comfortable way of doing it for you. So we've got a loop around our thumb and what we're going to do is to put the point of the needle under the loop. So that's under those two pieces of yarn and then we're going to come through the loop right next to our thumb. Then we're going to sweep around so that we go backwards with our uh, needle and under that yarn and pick it up. Then twist your thumb backwards and we're going to find the center of that yarn that we came through again and the loop on our needle we're bringing through the centre of the yarn and then let it go and tighten it off. So we've got two stitches on our needle now, one was our um, slip stitch which we will count in and one was our first cast on stitch. So let's try that cast on again. I'm just double checking to make sure that you can see what I'm doing. Um, so towards you with the needle, away from you with the thumb and go under that loop that's around your thumb so that you've got your two bits of yarn on the needle and go down through between those two threads of yarn backwards and my thumb automatically wants to go towards my finger and indeed I hold that piece of yarn there with my in between my thumb and my finger with my thumb and then we catch the yarn that's round my finger, so go under and up and then twist our hands so that we come back through that loop and out we come and tighten off. So I'll just do that one more time for you. So 
under both strands of yarn and down through the loop. Pop your thumb back onto your finger, pick up that strand of yarn, twist your hand frontways and back through the loop that's on your thumb. And again, under both and through the loop. Go backwards with your needle, pick up the yarn from underneath that's around your finger, twist your hand forward so that you're coming through the loop that's on your thumb, so in between that loop that's on your thumb, and that in fact is the loop that makes the little stitch at the bottom that gives you a lovely salvage. So let's do it in kind of slow real time. As if you do this in one continuous movement, it is easier. So that's a kind of a slow real time. And again. And you'll notice that I'm just guarding these stitches so that they don't go anywhere when I'm at with my index finger when I'm actually doing the manoeuvring with my left hand. So let's do that again and watch this finger here. It doesn't move until we come to there and then I can take it off. So once more with an explanation. So tip of needle towards you, tip of thumb away from you, under the two pieces of thread, down through the loop that's caused by your thumb. Pop your thumb to your finger, bring your needle backwards and under that yarn. Now twist the whole of your hand and bring it through. It's so exaggerated that the twists look as if they're awkward, but when you see it in real time, it's hardly a twist at all. So that's the German twisted cast on. Have a little play with that, have a little practice. It's a perfect cast on for the top of socks, for um, hats, for even the bottom of sleeves, because it will stretch, but it bounces back. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you like the uh, videos that I've got, there aren't many because uh, I'm new to the channel, but if you like this video, give it a like, make a comment, subscribe to my channel, and then you'll be able to see more like it because that's my intention. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and have a lovely day. Bye bye for now.